Dear Big Hairy Ugly Dude, I want to try West Side Conjugate System. Do you recommend it? Guys, before I get into that topic, I want to encourage you to stick around to the end of this video. Find out how you can reach me, the Big Hairy Ugly Guy Dude, with your questions and or comments. So, let me just adjust my spectacles. The question I see a lot is, Hey man, should I do West Side Conjugate? Should I try the West Side Barbell System? I'm only a late beginner, early intermediate, whatever, whatever. And uh, let me just state that West Side is a very complicated system. It's always changing. We don't know what's happening behind the doors of West Side. But there are a lot of uh, you know templates floating around on the web with the uh, with a simple four day structure of dynamic effort and max effort work so on and so forth <clears throat> so my advice for you is if uh, you're a intermediate or lower lifter and you have a good grasp of form and you're interested in strength training and want to dabble dabble with west side style training is to follow this advice and understand this is a caveat I'm not trying to restructure the west side program I'm just trying to show you guys, you younger lifters, who have uh, a history of building muscle and strength, how to test this out effectively. First off, you keep the max effort and dynamic effort days. Okay, you got to do your research on how to do them, how to, uh, you know, what exercises to do, how to do speed work, so on and so forth. I'm not touching on that in the video. What I want to touch about, uh, touch on, is the assistance work. When it comes to the assistance work, I don't want you to think about weaknesses. Run your dynamic effort stuff and your max effort stuff. And then when it comes to assistance work, I want you to focus on some this one thing. Getting everything from head to toe as strong as possible. I don't want you to think about weaknesses. What are my weaknesses? What are my lift weaknesses? Right now, everything is still a relative weakness for you. You need to bring up back strength. You need to bring, bring up tri tricep strength. You need to bring up trap strength, bicep strength, calf strength, everything, glute strength, hamstring strength, everything from head to toe. So instead of focusing on the question, what are my weaknesses, approach the assistance work with, I'm going to get everything as strong as possible from head to toe. So when you're doing your back work, I want you to get your rows as strong as possible. Triceps, I want you to get your skull crushers or close grip bench presses as strong as humanly possible. Hamstrings, your RDLs and leg curls as strong as humanly possible. Your shoulders, your overhead presses as strong as humanly possible. Your traps, do the old power shrug, power shrug and get those as strong as humanly possible. Get everything strong. Don't focus on assistance work. Focus on bringing up your, your overall body strength. That's one of the biggest mistakes intermediate and late beginners make when it, when it comes to making a switch to strength training. They try to ask themselves, what are my weaknesses? And then they start you know, building a, a workout based on perceived weaknesses. But they, they set aside the concept that they still don't that they that they need to build everything from head to toe as strong as possible that's your base that's your base you need to make every body every muscle in your body as strong as humanly possible and once you get to the point where you're pressing overhead pressing over 250 270 doing one arm dumbbell rows for reps with over 200 and that's natural kids that's natural these are reasonable goals you want to push to these levels. Once everything is inhumanly strong in every muscle group and every lift, then it's time to assess true weaknesses and maybe advance to a little more um, or move on to a little more advanced form of the West Side Conjugate System. So guys, to recap, stick with your max effort days, stick with your dynamic effort days, and do your research on them. Understand how they work. Okay, and then from there, when you're structuring your assistance work, I want you to set aside the West Side template and focus. Well, you can use the core of the template when it comes to body parts, but focus on making every, every body part from head to toe as strong as possible. So, guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments for the big, hairy, ugly dude, there's a link below to a form Q&A. 
Come on over, ask me any questions you want on strength training, muscle building, diet, nutrition, supplementation, motivation, or how to grow a perfect beard. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.